Barbados has announced that it would be cutting airport taxes for regional travelers by 50 percent. Now this is a request that had originally been made by CARICOM chairman Antigua and Barbuda's Prime Minister Gaston Brown as a means of encouraging intra-regional travel. Minister of Tourism and International Transport Lisa Cummins said that the cabinet had agreed that there must be a 50 percent reduction in airport service to charge regional travelers. She said that would bring them in line with what they had been hearing coming out of their markets, in particular Antigua and Barbuda. We are preparing to take it up on Thursday. A full price-based competitors analysis for Barbados where we will look at a comprehensive review of the industry. So what we have started to do is to look at the tourism sector as comprehensively as we can, both structurally as well as from a price competitiveness perspective. So we are preparing and we've had the first draft of the paper. It's been sent back for some further additions. So we are looking at what is the price sensitivity of the Barbados tourism product relative to our competitors. So that includes a range of analyses. What, how many flights are coming in to the region by country and to Barbados per day? Where are they coming from? What is the cost? of those flights, what taxes are applied in each country, what are the public health measures which are new, and how do they layer further costs on interregional travel, and ultimately, how does that create a competitive or an uncompetitive position for Barbados, and on that basis, what recommendations need to be made to the changes of our structure uh, as a destination.